helping. Okay, 5.3 divergence and integral test. So we're gonna learn two tests, but then we're gonna add one more later. Okay, so here, uh, if the series, infinite series, and from one to uh, infinity, positive infinity, A sub n converges, then the limit when n approach, uh, the, the, when n approach to A sub n equal to zero, okay? All right, so let me show you this one with example. So we say that last time, so n equal to zero to infinity, three over two to the n. We can express this one as three and one over two to the n power, right? Same as, and then we say that this is a converged by geometry series, right? So converges by geometry series. Why? Because the R is equal to one half less than one, right? So we learned that. All right, then we're gonna show that the series, infinite series converges, then we take the limit equal to zero, okay? So let's take the limit. When n approaches to positive infinity, we have a three, one over two to the n, Whereas the n, n is here, so we can take out the, this one out, right? So, or you can just leave it there, that's fine too. And one over two to the n power. So when n approaches to positive infinity, what do you get one over two to the n power? Okay, I should say think, huh? Think. Think. Y equal to one over n to the x power. Yeah. When x approaches the positive infinity, what's the uh, graph approach to? Is it zero? Mm -hmm. It's zero. So zero times three, which is zero, right? So we showed up, the infinite series is converges, then the limit equal to zero, okay? So this is a converged by geometry series. We did that last time because R equal to one half less than, less than one, then the limit is equal to zero, okay? All right, then we have the other way. That is in the divergence test, theta Okay, thank you for letting me know. So theta 5.8 divergence test. And then other will indicate that this is the nth, nth term, nth term test for divergence. Okay, so this, let me write down if limit when n approach to positive infinity a sub n is equal to any number, okay? Means the any number, which is not equal to zero, okay? So the, num the number is not equal to zero. Then, or we say that the limit n approach to positive infinity, a sub n diverge does not exist. <laughs> Does not exist. Does not exist. 
Okay, means that. So we get the positive infinity or negative infinity, right? Okay, then they say that the series, series or we call it infinite series, A sub n diverges. Okay, so we have a limit. We want to find the limit, but then the limit has just number not equal to zero, or we have the limit positive infinity or negative infinity, then the series diverges, all right? Okay. But what happened to if equal to zero, right? Question. It doesn't mean they give us us equal to zero, it's a converges, all right? Means that this is not converse, like limit a sub n equal to zero. We don't say that is that series is converges, all right? Why? Because of this one. Uh, uh, so is it left ambiguous as to whether it converges or diverges, like it could go either way or? Okay, we started, we started the series is converges, then the limit equal to zero, right? But then people people think, oh, we get the zero, then there is converges. If we have a limit equal to zero, then the series is converges. That does not true. Okay, make sense? Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh, Eureka. So here, we have a limit, we get the number, this is not equal to zero, we said just the diverges, the series is diverges. What if we get the zero then, right? We cannot conclude that it's converging. It might be converging or diverges, okay? So let me write down. If we have a sub n equal to zero, uh, it might be converges, convergent, or divergent. We have to check with other test. Okay, for instance, we have We have series uh, n equal to one to the infinity. We have a sub n, which is one of n, okay? Then look, we know that this is one, we take the limit when n approach to positive infinity, what do you get this one? You know. Is it zero, right? No, we get zero, right? But then we cannot say that this is a conversion. What is say that this one? The series one over n, is it converging or diverging? Is it diverging? Why? By harmonic series. We did the last time, remember? Okay, because that one is uh, slowly approaching to positive infinity. There's some, right? There's some. Okay, so we show that their partial sum increase, right? Yes? Okay, we can actually show this one later on. <laughs> I'm, I'm not rushing today. <laughs> I don't have to talk fast. Okay, we're gonna show this one one more time later on by using other test, 
they don't show that this here. So maybe later. All right. So is it understandable? So if we have a limit, we take the limit, we get zero, that doesn't mean guarantee converges, okay? It might be convergent or divergent, okay? But we must check with the other test. All right. Uh, let's see. Here's the full example. Okay. They say they apply divergence test, but we should not know what kind of test we have to use the end of the chapters, right? Because they're gonna give us a bunch of tests, right? We have to recognize what kind of test we have to use it, right? So let me write down. Um, mm, Yeah, in this case, only the diversity, right? So, uh, <laughs> if the divergence test, because we're gonna use a divergence test, divergence test provides that, the series diverges. Stay so. Otherwise, indicate that the divergence. Test is inconclusive. Inconclusive, we cannot make answer, right? Whether converges or diverges, right? Okay, so first of all, first of all, we have a, a, a part, the sigma. Summation one through infinity, we have n over three n minus one. Okay. All right. So we're going to take the limit. So n, the series, kind of a series, get the sequence right now, right? Okay, when n approaches to positive infinity, right? Then we might think this is a tiny number, right? Since n is approach a huge number, right? So we get say that. n over three n. Okay, not the power of n, not mm, just three times n. Then what can you say that we simplify, right? So we get one third. Then what do you get this one? One third, right? Okay, then we are using divergence test. So we get one third. So it's not equal to zero, right? So we conclude it's a diverges. Make sense? 
Okay, so this mean, this is not equal to zero. So we say the diverges, so series is diverges. Means that the series goes to increasing, right? Goes to positive infinity. So infinite series. infinite series so basically sum right sum of a series goes to diverges goes to positive infinity So increasing, right? Increasing. All right, now let us do second part. One over n to the third power. Okay, let's check that. Limit. When n approaches to positive infinity, what do you get? n to the third power? Yellow. Zero? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. All right. Then what can you say that this one? They say that they don't say anything about the zero, right? So we're going to say that divergence test is inconclusive. Because we have to check another test. So this means it might be convergent or divergent, right? So we must check with other test. Okay, let's check this one later on, right? Okay, so the last one. Uh, we have summation one to the infinity. E to the one over n squared. We take the limit, e to the one over n to the second power. So look, we do casually thinking one over infinity, what do you get? Means that we have a small number divided by huge number. Zero. Zero, very good, okay? Yeah, think about that, small number divided by a huge number, we get the zero, okay? All right, then this will be e to the zero, right? Then what do you get? Uh, one. So one, okay. Once again, we're doing divergence test. Divergence test doesn't say anything, only diverges, right? So this is not equal to zero, we say that diverges, yeah? Now, later on, we have to say that diverges what? So diverges by divergence test. Diverges by divergence test. Okay. So you guys okay with the divergence of test? Divergence test doesn't give us anything, just diverges. So we take the limit, not equal to zero, then 
say diverges, right? Means that the series, sum of a series goes to the positive infinity, all right? That's the one way to test for the series goes to the increasing, okay? Which is the sum, right? Is it clear? Okay, now let us do integral test. So integral test is easy because we have experience about the improper integral, right? Integral. <laughs> okay, so let us do this one. Theta. Five point nine integral test. Okay, we have the series. Okay, so when the series read positive terms. Yes, then period. Suppose there exists a function F and a positive integer n. Such that <laughs> not washing. I'm not watching <laughs> the following three conditions are satisfied. Okay, first one must be the function is continuous. Secondly, the function is continuous and decreasing. And then we can say that f of n equal to a sub n, the sequence, right? And this n is the same as n here. And then they say that for all integer, the small lowercase n greater or equal to uppercase n. Okay, look, the uppercase n they're using here. So series n equal to one to infinity a sub n, and they're using just number. Okay, so and infinity, we did that improper integration, right? And f of x dx. Okay, number. Must be positive, right? Positive. Positive number. Okay, then look. We're not finished, eh? All right, so the both converges or both diverges? Okay, 
This means we have a series, then we change into the function notation. So we have n, right? But then we check, uh, we change it to x like a function. Then must be, we don't have to check most of the time is the f is continuous, decreasing, 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 that's correct. So decreasing is like that, okay? Decreasing, positive. All right, then we check the integral test whether that integration gives us number, then we say the convergences, we have the experience in integral, improper integral, right? If it goes to positive infinity, diverges. Go If it goes to negative infinity, diverges, right? Okay. Okay, then we can conclude the series also converging or diverging. Make sense? Okay, let me write down means the internal test is give us the number and it's converges convergent. Therefore, the series also converges. Same as diverges. Okay, so it means the integral test gives us a number then it's a convergent, therefore the series was converges, same as diverging, okay? So I just omit about the diverging. All right, let us do example. Aha, we have one over n to the third power here. So look. I wanted to use a different test. So this one, we say that by divergent test, we have a limit over n to the third power, which is give us a zero. But divergent test says anything about the zero, okay? So we have to check another test for this one is the converges or diverges, okay? Then let us check the integral test, whether this is a converges or diverges, okay? All right. Uh, determine whether the series converges or diverges. Okay, they said assume that all conditions for the integral test are met. Okay, so continuous and what was it? Decreasing. Okay, then f of n equal to a sub n, same thing. So f of n is the same as the a sub n means we change it to the function, right? So let me do here. So we have n equal to one to the infinity, one over n to the third power. Then we assume condition mass. So we're gonna say that f of x equal to one over x to the third power, okay? Now we gotta use integral test. So we will have look one to infinity, okay? 
So one to infinity, we say that. Now one over x to the third power and dx. We integrate, but then by improper integral, right? So this is a bad spot, right? We don't do that. So we're gonna use, since we have upper bound or upper limit, right? So other books say the upper bound, other, this book say the upper limit, right? So we say that since upper say B, lower say A, right? We did that in improper integral. So let us do this. Limit B approach to positive infinity, okay? Now we say that one to B, okay? Now let us using power or so we're gonna use like x to negative three dx. Okay, now we can integrate easily because of power or so what do you get? Uh, x uh, to the negative second uh, times uh, second minus. Uh -huh. So negative one over two to the x to the second power, good. All right, so we're gonna integrate from one to B. Okay, now, negative one over two, we have a B squared minus we have a one over two and positive, right? Okay, look. Uh, when B approach to positive infinity, same thing, right? So we have a small number divided by large number, what do you get? Yellow. Zero, okay, so this is zero. So we get one half, all right? So since we have a number, the answer is the number, we converge it, we can say converge or diverge. We did it in the improper integral, right? Converges or diverges. Hello. <gasps> converges or diverges. What? Don't you remember it? And I explained earlier too. Was it not that clear? Means the integral test give us a number. Then we said the convergent. Therefore, the series also converges. Is it number or infinity or diver uh, negative infinity? Uh, it converges, I guess. Yeah, it's a convergence because it's a number, isn't it? So we said it converges, right? Because answer is a number, right? Okay, then we can say that the series also converges, right? by integral test. Okay, so we put up, we had, we take the limit, then we had a zero, but we was not sure whether this is converges or diverges, but we prove that this is converges, okay? All right, so let us do this one. Second part. What is that one over? Square root 2m minus one, okay? All right, so we assume 
uh, all the condition mat. So we're gonna say that f of x, which is equal to one over square root of two x minus one, okay? All right, so let us write down from one to infinity. Okay, so we're gonna make two x minus one, negative one half in order to use the power rule, dx. Okay, now, how do we integrate Let, let u equal to 2s minus 1. Yes. So since this is very easy and simple, you don't mind we using the least method. So like this, we have to have a channel, right? So let u equal to 2x minus 1. Let me show you first. OK. Derivative, what do you get? 2 ds. 2 dx. So we don't have a 2, so we divide by 2 both sides, right? So we get 1 over 2 du equal to dx. All right? So look, uh, we have to have a chain rule, so let us do 2 there and 1 half. OK, it's OK. Then this will be. You're gonna, oh, one half. Then I forgot the limit. We have to make a limit. It's okay inside the limit, that's fine. B. So say one more time. Can you say that two and one half? Okay, now we can integrate by using power rule. Okay. So let us do this. One half power rule. Uh, um, a, ha a half um, times, uh, and you add it, multiply it by two to the power of one half, right? Okay, so yeah, so one add a one half, one, uh, add a two over two, so one half, right? Yeah, so, multiply the whole thing by uh, two. Uh, so look, we're gonna have. 2x minus one to the one half a power. So oh yes, yeah, very so from one to b, right? So you guys okay with this one? So look. We have to have a channel for this one. So we derivative with this whole thing, then we have to have a two. Since we write down two, I want to make a one half. So it's kind of times one there. Mm. Okay, so without using yourself, all right? So I'm writing down yourself for your reference. Is okay? Okay, so this is okay with you. I don't make a mistake, right? All right, then this will be limit when n approaches to positive infinity. One over two, square root two times b minus one, and minus square root two minus one, right?
Okay, so what do you get this one when limit? Oh, sorry about that, B, not the N. So look, when B approaches to positive infinity, what do you get this one? Think about the square root. Infinity. Goes to infinity, right? So we don't care whether they get the number here, right? Because one term has infinity, then very powerful, <laughs> powerful and then strong. So we said infinity, okay? So this means just to uh, shrink uh, horizontally, right? And then this means shift to the right one unit, right? Okay, so very similar graph. So infinity, then we conclude what? Diverges or converges? This is the hardest part. Oh, yeah. Very <laughs> Yes, thank you. Very right? So we can conclude the series also diverges. By integral test. Okay, so basically integral test exactly the same as the improper integral, right? Okay, now, haha, we have a P series. Let me write down P series. So they did not say in the title, title say that we have only divergence test and integral test. Can you see that? But I said in the beginning, oh, there is one more. So there is the one more, P series. Okay, P series is the most easiest test. Okay, easiest series, easiest test. So, you will you will like it, okay? <laughs> All right, so P series So for any Real number P. The series looks like this summation n from one to infinity, one over n, P is here. Okay. We called P series. All right. We call P series, then we have to know what they do, right? They do look convert this if P is greater than one diverges if P is less than we could one. Okay, let me prove. Okay, so we have, I'm going to prove by integral test, integral test, integral test, because we had one of n to the cube power earlier, right? So we had the integral test. All right, so here, uh, assume that condition met, okay? So we're going to say that. 
condition for condition for control first. And then let f over x equal to one over x to the p. Okay, now we make an integral from one to the infinity, one over x to the p dx. Okay, now we say that limit the upper bound, upper limit, we said the b approach to positive infinity and one, two, B, I want to make X to the negative P so that we can use the power, okay? Look, uh, limit, B approach to positive infinity. We do integrate where you get this one. Will be zero. Okay, P is a number, right? So P is, uh, uh, oh, I have to set it up, P. Which one is this? Yeah, P is not the equal to one, okay? Uh, hold on one second. Let's set up. Uh, Because one, then we get the zero. So we don't want that. P is not equal to zero. Okay? No, it's not equal to one. <laughs> P is not equal to one. All right? Okay, let me talk about the P equal to one later on. Okay, then P is not equal to one, just any number, right? P is any number. Positive number, how about that? Okay, now uh, look, how do we integrate? We just add one, right? Divide by the new power. Yes? Agree? Yes? yes. Yes. Okay. Now look, we're gonna evaluate it from one to B. Okay, now I want to change that because just to switch the order because we have a negative sign in front. So look. One over one minus P there, just number, right? Then we have x to the one minus p, right? Then one to b, we're gonna evaluate. Then look, just complicate with the, the letter, but it's okay. One over one minus p and x to the one minus p. So I want to express b to the one minus p and minus one to the one minus p, right? So one minus p, in this case, look, one to the one minus p. Equal to one. Just one, yes, thank you. All right then, let's think about that, p, okay? So we have, if P is greater than one, in this case, we said that I equal to one, P equal to greater than, <laughs> P is greater than one, think about two. How about that, right? Say P equal to two, how about that? For your reference, right? Then look B to the one minus two, which is B to the negative one, right? It's okay. Then it's a one over B. Look. What do you get this one? When B approach to positive infinity, same concept. You know. 
is zero because uh, a number, small number divided by a huge number, which is zero. Yes? So we can say that if P is greater than one, we can say that that is zero. Okay, this part is zero, right? Then we get the one, okay? All right, then, hold on one second. Let me, let me clear this one. Um, Okay, then I want to keep doing that from here. Name it. Let me just erase the name. So one over one minus P, and this is zero minus one. Okay, then we get one. Uh, but then let me see. Okay, this will be one minus. We have a negative one there, isn't it? So let me clear this one. We have a negative one, so uh, how about this? <laughs> negative one over uh, one minus p, right? Make a, uh, make a distributed sign, then we get the one over negative one positive p, right? So either p minus one. <sighs> Is it correct? <laughs> It's okay with you, yeah? Because we have a negative one there, yes? So negative, yeah? Okay, now, if P is less than one, okay, so let's go back here, from here. Look, P is less than one, say negative two, then we get the positive three, isn't it? Because one minus minus two, right? Yes? Yes or no? Okay, P is the negative one. Then we have a B to the one minus minus one, which is B squared, right? Then what do you get this one? Infinity. Goes to infinity, right? So we don't care about the next term is one, right? Because infinity very uh, powerful and strong, right? So it's infinity. Infinity kills everything, right? So we get the infinity. That's why if a P is less than one, we say that diverges. Okay, so look, this is how we got P series, P series, P series has a series with this form, okay? We have to recognize because P series most easiest test, okay? Check the this P greater than one converges. P is less than or equal to one diverges. Why equal to one? Because we show that one over N, it was the diverges by what? The series. 
let me show you one more time. We had series one over n. Was it diverging or converges this one? Uh, diverges. Diverges by harmonic series, right? Also, P series said that it's one. Can you see that there is one? Okay. Make sense? That's why we said that P, equal, P is not equal to one. We started that because we know that already this is a diverges, all right? By P, uh, harmonic series. Okay. So look, P is less than or equal to equal to one. So this is equal to one, it's a divergy, right? So once again, it's a divergy by harmonic series and P series. There is another one now. Make sense? Okay, now let us do a couple of problems then we're done. So easiest to test in the series. Determine. Oh my God. Eight converges or diverges. Okay, the first one. <laughs> converges or diverges? Diverges. <gasps> or uh, converges, converges. Oh, it's a converges, right? Yeah, yeah, converges. Uh, okay. okay, so uh, think about with the uh, party with the geometry series. Yeah, so geometry series R is less than one, that's converges, right? In here, the P is less than or equal to one is the diverges, right? So P is greater than one is the converges. P since P equal to four greater than one by P series, okay? Second one, <laughs> I know it's a confusing a little bit, right? Okay, converges or diverges? That one diverges. Diverges? Right. Yeah, it's the diverges. Because it's less than one? Good, since P is a two third, which is less than one. Okay, now. by P series. So P series, I told you easiest series test. Yeah, okay, we can see that, right? But we have to recognize the form of like that. One single one over N with a series, right? And just a piece here, okay? Geometry series, we have to have a number with a fraction. We call the ratio, right? Okay. So last time we learned about partial sum, geometry series, harmonic series, telescoping series, right? For today we learned divergence test and integral test and P series, okay? Seven, already seven, okay? So we're gonna add up more. So please remember every series, every test, okay? How to apply, how to recognize, 
Okay. All right. Thank you for coming.